So I just got some brand new knee sleeves and I'm gonna be wearing these fresh out the box to hit squats today at the gym. It's a little bit earlier uh, than I'm used to going to the gym. Uh, not really, it's kind of like around the same time, probably like an hour earlier. Oh, I'm pretty tired, but hopefully that doesn't play a role into today's workout. Today is supposed to be like volume, so should be all right. Just a little bit tired. Just stop complaining. All right, um, I'm already warmed up. I did my pre squat stuff and I did my build up to my top set, which is supposed to be, well, the workout is supposed to be a three by nine at RP of six. We're going back to volume. It's, <laughs> I'm not excited about that, but it is what it is. We have 495 pounds on the bar right now and we're gonna go for a set of nine at RP of six. I want this to look easy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. I'm like wired off of my in focus product that I took from BPN. I don't have it next to me, but it's in my bag. Like I just stared off into space for like two seconds. I was like, bruh. <laughs> but anyways, first set, a, a first set of nine with 495 pounds. Right there. All right, so uh, we've reached the last set. I would I was gonna talk to you guys after my second set, but I was like, let's go ahead and do the third set. It's not hard. It's just like. I'm kind of out of shape from doing reps. Like, doing nine reps is ridiculously tough. I just like run out of breath when I'm squatting whenever I get to like my sixth rep. But we're here, last set. Let's go ahead and gear up and get this nine reps out of the way. <sighs> we are officially back on volume. What's up, guys? I'm going to be talking to you as I'm doing this last set. Uh, once again, some of the things that I'm focusing on is slowing up my descent. I want to be consistent. Like when I watched Joey compete, I noticed that his 700 pound squat or 744 pound squat was done with such control. I'm like, man, if I could just translate that into my squat and be consistent, then I think that we're going to be able to hit big things in the future. So we're, we're going back into volume. I wanted this first block of nine, like this first week of nine to be relatively um, easy. So I went with 495 pounds. I sent, I sent Joey the video later on in the day and he's like, this is light work. Next week, we want to bump it up to like maybe 545, 565 and start playing with numbers like 585 pounds for sets of uh, above six. So I think that's going to be the goal going forward in the next coming weeks. You guys have seen me hit 605 pounds or 600 pounds for a set of five. And I really want to bump that up and push the envelope going forward. But that's going to be it for this voiceover. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. My, my, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to make this really fast. Today is supposed to be a very interesting day or it can be a very interesting day i'm actually looking to purchase my first vehicle ever if everything goes the way i planned it i should be walking off the lot with a brand new car this is a car that i've been looking at for a couple of weeks now uh, it's used and i'm super excited if i'm able to get it that would you know obviously make today but that's what we're supposed to do i'm supposed to meet with my mom my brother in the next like hour or so to check out the the vehicle that would be like a milestone that i wanted to accomplish in 2019 I, I mentioned it earlier in one of my videos like very quickly i was like yo i want to buy a new car this year and uh, i think it's going to happen today it's pretty cool you know that's my first ever car purchase and it's like a big deal for me just because i mean it's like it's a whole fucking car <laughs> i was actually so nervous for today that i woke up at 4 30 this morning and cleaned my entire apartment I never get nervous for anything, which is weird. Like, I don't even get that nervous for powerlifting meets. I get like, I get butterflies, but I don't get like super duper nervous. It's more so of like an angst to compete. And you know, I'm so nervous about buying a car that I clean my whole entire apartment, which is like super weird. Like I couldn't sleep last night. I had to force myself to go to bed. Then I woke up this morning, like around like 3.30, went back to sleep, then woke up at 4.30 and I was like, damn. I'm like, I'm up, up. It looks like it's about to rain. Like I would show you guys, but you guys can't see from where I'm sitting. Let me see, like you can just tell the sun's not out, all that stuff, it's really bad weather. Um, it's gonna rain. I looked at the I looked at the, um, the weather app, it looks like it's gonna rain in the next probably like hour or two. But I just got a call from the dealership and they said the car is in stock. I just wanted to make sure and confirm. It's something I probably should have done like leading up to this point, but I didn't do it. So I checked up on it this morning and they have it in stock. Uh, my mom's gonna help me with uh, just financing in terms of having her credit down because me being an entrepreneur, it's hard to prove uh, proof of income and my credit score is 
it's pretty average but it's like I just haven't paid off a lot of things in order to have that credit score that's gonna help me lower my finance or my uh, my monthly payment so my mom's gonna co-sign with me whenever I purchase this car and it's going to just make the process easier faster quicker and I'm only telling that to you guys so you guys have uh, transparency as I'm going through this process like if you're someone that is in position to get a car and like maybe your credit score is trash and you know you can make those monthly payments on a month-to-month -month basis over the course of like 72 months and uh, you have a mom or you have a parent that is able to co-sign with you I think it'll just make the process a lot easier for you guys so if you're in the market and you're trying to get uh, like a new car or something like that having your parents co-sign for you is 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 such a such a blessing and such a you know very helpful tool that I think people don't use all the time but once again I'm using my mom to co-sign to make the process easier and faster it's like whenever I go to a bank or if I go to finance it they're gonna look at me in my young age and my my you know you know a uh, little to no credit history and they're gonna jack up the prices and it's gonna make it uh, pricey for me to purchase the car however if I bring my mom in it's gonna make it a lot more affordable for me so uh, yeah that's the reason why I'm bringing my mom what's up you like it that look clean <laughs> Would you drive it? I see the video now. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Actually, I got better. So. so right now we're driving. Uh, as you guys saw, it's the Range. It's the 2016 Range Rover Sport. It's like the perfect size, I think, for me because like I don't want like a huge, humongous car. And I think that like the Sport, like kind of like the name, like it says, you know, it's more of a smaller, sporty car. Uh, but it's still nice and it's used. It's like in my price range. Just driving right now just to get a feel for it. And I'm, I mean, honestly, I like it. I like the all black look. Um, it's a little bit dirty right now just because like, it's been raining a lot in Houston and they said that if I were to purchase the car they would clean it up before me before I take it off a lot. Once again, just driving here, I mean it feels, it feels solid. How long have we been here, Mom? Huh? How long have we been here? Oh my god, all day, all day. <laughs> so it's currently... It's almost six. It's almost six o'clock. Yeah, almost six o'clock. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this day has been one of the most uneventful <laughs> days uh, that could have happened, but I was kind of like anticipating that. Whenever it comes to situations like this, I'm like always thinking about the worst. And like, if the best happens, then I'm, I'm obviously satisfied. But like, I go into situations like this thinking that the worst thing is gonna happen. And literally, the second worst thing happened. Like, we got here at 10.30 a.m. And it's now almost 6 p.m. But right now everything is going pretty good. Good to go? Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been like searching my whole apartment for batteries for my camera because I lost my battery charger and I have like four batteries and they're all dead. This one has like 13%, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of this video. Uh, the last clip that you guys saw was me actually finalizing the deal uh, to purchase the, the 2016 Range Rover Sport from the dealership. You guys saw the whip, it's, it's blacked out. I'm super uh, just happy to buy it. Like I'm still kind of like, not in shock, but I'm just chilling thinking like, damn, like that car is mine. And it's, it's, you know, it's in the parking lot, I'll take you guys out to see it again, or I'll just have clips playing as I'm talking, but like, I just want to say it's pretty surreal to like, purchase my first car. Uh, I was, I, I don't know if you guys knew, but I drove my Camaro for about 10 years now. I got my Camaro when I was like 15 going on 16, I'm now 24 going on 25 this year, so that's essentially been 9 years. It's going to be 10 
next year and I was like, you know what, man? I haven't spent any of the money that I've earned. Uh, I might as well buy something nice for myself. I'm not a person that does nice things for myself. I don't really care about materialistic things, but I was getting tired of my Camaro and I did want a car that looks cool and I like it and it makes me happy and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna pull the trigger on this. I, you know, I, I rarely treat myself and I think this is something that I could definitely afford and I was like, okay, let's go with it. And you know, I found, uh, I started searching like the used car section. I'm just like, this, this is, this is right, this is right. So I got it at a good price and I'm really, really happy and satisfied with how everything came out. I was at the dealership pretty much all day. I don't think uh, purchasing cars take that long. The thing is that when I co-signed with my mom, my mom actually got robbed a couple of months ago and uh, it put her credit on freeze because identity theft and all that stuff. So it took a while for that hold to get lift off her account and reflect in the dealership's uh, system. So that's the reason why I took all day. And it, like we stayed there all day because I wanted to leave the lot with the car. When I get something stuck in my head, it's kind of annoying. When I get something stuck in my head, like I have to execute that thing the way I wanted to execute it. And the way I had it in my head for the day was like I wanted to leave the dealership with that car. And everything was in place. It's just the fact that the credit freeze kind of held us up for the whole entire day. But we ended up, I ended up leaving the lot with the car. And I'm super happy about that. But I wanted to share that experience with you guys. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It's the next day, man. And I'm trying to like, I'm like running around trying to get things together because I'm actually going to the gym. I didn't, I didn't get to go to sleep until like three in the morning. And then I woke up at six. It's just whatever. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. Taking out my weapon, I'm pulling the clip back. Wondering how the fuck did I take in a bus back? Hearing y'all's round of applause, I better pause when I run up and go spot and pop you all in your jaws. 